talk more about these meetings and what's happening there. And there's been significant developments, climate change and energy policy were among the major topics discussed. And the first time, there have been also major issues at these talks. As the dust settles on the agreements being reached, we're focusing on one partnership that has already taken shape. The Eco Partnerships Program, initiated in 2008, is an example of the United States and China cooperation on energy and environmental issues. I spoke with Raymond Pilcher, president of Raven Ridge Resources. His company is partnering with China's Guizhou province to promote the collection and use of methane gas in coal mines. I asked him his view on the role of eco partnerships. First of all, it's, it's uh, an outgrowth of the strategic economic dialogue. I mean, that in itself and the, the framing of a formalized agreement to discuss important topics and being uh, a part of that sort of structure is, is, is really important. Um, you know, both the United States and China recognize that energy is not the only thing they have in common. The other is, is that we're a part of the planet and it's important that we're protecting the, the environment in every way that we can. And so the focus on uh, partnerships among various types of institutions and companies and bringing innovative approaches is really the, I think, the underpinning of the, the SED in general and very specifically this eco-partnership. There's five or six key topics part of the eco-partnership. I, I want to just hit on a couple of sure. them to get your take. One of it is on more e uh, energy efficient buildings, more efficient energy, uh, energy efficient transportation networks. Uh, give us some elaboration on, on how they're going to do that and how those partnerships are going to push that along. Well, first of all, I think, um, you know, you, it doesn't take a lot of research. You can, you can read almost every day that one way to cut energy needs is to be more efficient. In fact, there's so many different approaches, but if you pick the two biggest, uh, two biggest consumers of energy, you look at buildings, you know, heating, air conditioning, et cetera, and lighting, and you look at motor fuel and motor fuel consumption, you really, you've got the two, the two things that need to be, uh, you know, that need to shrink if we're really going to talk about managing both energy consumption, but more importantly, managing the environmental impacts of that energy consumption. So there's really a couple different angles to it, and, then, and both of them are extremely important to both yes. sides, energy and the environment. I want to talk a little bit about what you do specifically. Your company works with Gui uh, Zhao International uh, Cooperative Center for Environmental Protection. Right. But your company specifically works specifically with methane gases in coal mines, and we were talking a bit earlier. Explain to us why this is so important for China for what you guys do specifically. Yes, well, I'd like to say that, um, first of all, I've been working in China for almost 22 years, working on exactly the same topics. When we first went to China, uh, the idea that we, there would be beneficial uses of methane from coal mines was a very foreign idea. In fact, it was pretty much foreign everywhere in the world. It wasn't just China. Uh, but in fact, you know, methane is a clean burning fuel. 98% of natural gas is methane. So if, if one can plan and capture that methane before it goes to the, to the atmosphere, then you're really doing three things. You know, one is, is that methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. It's 25 times more potent than CO2. So if you reduce one ton of emissions of methane to the atmosphere, it's like reducing so 25 that, That's tons. good for the environment. Now, yeah. you mentioned something earlier about safety. safety. Uh, coal mine safety is um, obvious of great interest in China. How does what you do make things safer? Well, it does it in two ways. One is just the simple extraction of the methane before, before during, or after mining keeps that methane out of the workings. So that, that prevents can prevent accidents. That's one of the components. But the other part is, because you're doing that, and if you put it to beneficial use, you improve the, um, the economic performance of the coal mine. So what you're really doing is, instead of having a vicious circle, um, you have a virtuous cycle. The more of that gas you recover, the more you use, the more money the mine has, and the more reasons for it to do precisely what we all want them to do. Again, that was Raymond Pilcher at Raven Ridge Resources.